welcome to Being Barton. Today is Smart Pill Day. I have been up since four o'clock this morning. The Smart Pill test today is my first test that I'll have at this facility. For the past four weeks, I haven't been allowed to have any antibiotics. Other medicines are restricted as you lead up to the test date. The morning of the test, after midnight, you're not allowed to have anything to drink or eat, and that means no coffee. I'm so tired. Okay, so this is the Smart Bar. I totally forgot to take a picture of it before I started eating. That's how tired I am. This is the smart pill that I will be taking. I just finished the wonderful smart bar. After I take this, I will not eat or drink or rest for the next six hours. I am leaving the motility department now. I have my monitor that I'll be keeping with me for the next five days or so. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road and head home. I've got six hours before I can eat or drink again and I can't sleep, so it's actually probably a good thing I had to drive myself here today. It took me four hours to make the drive back in the rain. And so that means I have two hours left before I can have any drinks or any food or rest at all. When I do get the chance to eat and rest again, I need to record that. This monitoring device has a gray button called the event button. I will press that button and then I will record what I'm eating, what symptoms I'm facing, when I'm sleeping, and I'll be keeping this with me for the next couple of days. I don't have any specific dietary restrictions relating to this test, so I'll be able to eat whatever I want tonight. That is typically not the case for me. I need to experience the symptoms that are unpleasant so that it can be recorded on this monitoring device. It's been just a little bit over 24 hours. I have actually now passed the smart pill. You will know that you've passed the pill because these indicators will no longer be flashing. I was not expecting it to pass until I had reached the three to five day window. Since my pill has passed just 24 hours or so into the test, I'm not sure if this will affect the results. I am headed back to Augusta today. I'm bringing the monitor. I will let you guys know what they say when I get there. I am returning the monitoring device. It no longer has any of the buttons highlighted on it. I'm also turning this in with my log of everything that I ate and how I felt during the test and what my bowel movements looked like. I don't expect to get the results back on that for several months. Even though it ended sooner than I thought it was going to, apparently that's okay, so I'm no longer concerned about that. I will let you guys know in the comments the information that I find. Bye, guys. You, you, you.